going on, MD? John DeLorosi here with Mark Rivera. We're here at the East Coast Mecca, about to get a chest workout in. I'm uh, 10 weeks out from the Mr. Olympia competition, my first time on that stage. Mark was in the middle of his off season, getting ready for next season. What's up, MD? Just finished up a workout here at the East Coast Mecca with Marco Rivera. Um, you know, it's always good to train with uh, Marco. He's a, you know, very uh, important person in my life. He's uh, pushed me along the way. We we started together in this bodybuilding thing, and you know, we're both competing on the pro stage now. Never, he never fails to, uh, you know, be in my corner and, and be one of my biggest supporters. So. Like I said, we, we just finished up this chest workout. We uh, we banged it out pretty well. Um, let you hear a little bit from Marco. What's up, MD? Marco Rivera here, a.k.a. the Starburst guy. <laughs> That's what I'm called now, everywhere I go, which is awesome. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for, for getting back at me at that. But tremendous, tremendous chest workout today. Um, just feeding off of John, you know, John's getting ready for the Olympia right now, and obviously I'm in my off season, uh, just meeting high, high calorie diets and, and heavy training, focusing on, on next year. But John's getting ready for the Olympia. I, I truly feel that, you know, his, 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 his opportunity has finally, has finally came. And I'm just so glad to, to know that he's going to be, you know, up against the best in about 10 more weeks. And I, I feel that he has a tremendous opportunity on hand, uh, making sure that everything comes in perfect. I believe pound for pound, muscle for muscle, he, he, he's comparable with every other guy that's going to be up there. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, who brings it on that particular day. And, So as you can see, my training style has switched up a bit. I used to do a lot of, a uh, little bit heavier weight. Usually, I would usually go up to about four or five plates here, but only getting anywhere from six to 10 reps. Now I'm trying to move up to a higher rep range, still using some decent weight. It's really all about, for me right now, just getting a ton of blood into that upper part of my chest and really just trying to fill out that you know, up that part of the chest and just get like a real round look to it. I think I've done a pretty good job so far, but as always, there's still improvements to be made, so. So it's been a very short um, break between shows. Uh, right after Toronto, I had a, a week at home with my wife and, you know, we kind of wanted to get things together at the store, Nutrition Locker, so before we left on our honeymoon almost a year later, which my wife wanted to kill me about. But uh, we uh, went to Mexico, uh, we had a really great time. It was a much needed uh, break for myself from, from you know, the everyday stress of, of prepping and the, the, the store and family life and our pets and everything. So it was, uh, it was a great time, you know. Um, but we're back now. We're, we're hitting this thing full stride. As Marco said, uh, we're both. Everybody is like super excited, and you know it's going to be an honor to be on that stage. Uh, uh, I've said it many times. You know, it just seems like yesterday I was, uh, you know, a young teenage kid, hanging hanging posters on my wall. Um, you know, looking at Paul Delay and. Lavrone and Sean Ray and you know all the greats of the 90s and even the 80s I used to be a big fan of Lee Haney um, still am so you know it's it's a pretty incredible uh, thing to be able to share that same experience with these people um, I'm really looking forward to it my wife is super pumped um, so you know in 11, in 11 weeks we'll be there and, and you know be looking back and hopefully it'll be a good experience as if today's your last day, brother. Let's go, baby. Let's show these people what it is, man. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Stay in the shit, baby. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Turn it up. Let's go, Jay. Come on. Let's go. Pop. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Let's go. Five more. Come on. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Come on. Four. One more. Up. Oh, 
shave tonight. <laughs> you know, if he, uh, you know, that's something you gotta see to uh, understand why he's so pissed that he has to do that. It's about a four or five hour job. Yep. Same way you feel about cutting the grass in the backyard. <laughs> that's how you feel about shaving his chest. Let's go, champ. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Two. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. Three. Let's go. Yep. Four. Come on. Let's go. Up. Hicks. Let's go. Come on. Up. Heaven. Come on. You got a lot left. Come on. Up. Eight. Two more. Come on. Up. One more. Come on. Get up. Up. Incorporated some uh, some rest pauses on the flat bench. Uh, the highest I went to was maybe about 225. I think John went about 315. Uh, and you know, in, in a situation where you're probably thinking, why, why isn't it not heavier? By the time you get there after incline, you know, your, your chest is so exhausted, which is which is exactly what we're trying to do. We're not trying to go into these exercises fresh and 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 powerful. We want to be able to execute these movements with muscles that are already fatigued from, from the previous exercises so we can stimulate more growth. Um, so the rest pauses is a perfect exercise to kind of incorporate in between a really good chest workout. And obviously, you know, you see that we had low numbers and, and not went uh, tremendously heavy. And it's only because the chest is so fatigued at that point that you know, the exercise is very, very difficult, but those pauses downstairs, you know, you, you incorporate, it, you, you require so much power to get it out that pit that at the same time, it becomes slightly of a, a power lifting movement. Um, and, and it, you know, going down the line for this preparation, you know, calories sometimes are up, calories are down. Sometimes you're gonna feel a little bit tired. You need to try to incorporate exercise that's going to help you maintain power throughout throughout your whole entire prep, and those rest pauses are, are an excellent way of being able to do that.
to finish up the day, we, we went on to the uh, pack deck machine. We did some flies there, um, basic movement, nothing crazy, just focusing on squeezing. Again, getting blood into the muscle tissue, um, really getting a good pump. Big thank you to my sponsors, Muscular Development, um, you know, for always covering my my journey to the stage. Uh, MHP, my supplement sponsor, and of course Bev and Steve for allowing us to have another great training session here in Syasa, Long Island. I also want to thank everyone out there in MD and uh, thank all the fans that that support us on a, on a daily basis and and send us those messages and those inspiring words that, that just allow us to, to do what we do every single day when we don't sometimes feel like, like we have enough to get it done. You know, you guys come in and drop a couple words and, and, and change that whole aspect for us. So every time you do that, remember that we're reading them and, and, and you know, we're really inspired by those words. So, and also, you know, thank you to uh, Steve and Bev for, for making this all possible over here on the East Coast. You know, without you guys, it's uh, it's a, uh, it's 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 a difficult process, and you guys just just make it you know very special for us to be able to live the lives that we live, and and also to my sponsors, MHP, P28 Bread, and uh, again to everybody that 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 supports us on a daily basis. Thank you very very much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, man. It's like dancing the <laughs>